Hello students. Today's topic of discussion is X-ray. X-rays are electromagnetic radiations with shorter wavelength. Shorter the wavelength, stronger is the penetration power of X-rays. Next, we will discuss the principle of X-ray generation. The figure shows the basic structure of X-ray tube. The X-ray tube is a simple vacuum tube that contains a cathode and an anode. X-rays are produced when fast moving electrons hit a piece of metal called a target. Electrons are emitted by the filament that is cathode when it is heated by a low voltage supply. The electrons are then accelerated by the high voltage and sent towards the target that is anode. And the X-rays are produced when electrons hit the target. Less than 1% of the kinetic energy of the electrons converted into X-rays and the remaining 99% released as heat. So this is the basic working principle of X-ray generation. Next we will discuss some of the important properties of X-rays. X-rays are highly penetrating invisible rays, electrically neutral, liberate heat on passing through the matter, travel in straight lines, travel with a speed of light in vacuum, cannot be deflected by magnetic field and electric field, it can destroy living cells, cannot be focused by lens, affect photographic film. Next is the applications of X-rays. So today we will discuss some application, some important applications of X-rays. But in the following classes, we will discuss the applications of X-rays in detail. So first one is the skeletal structures are easy to visualize. Just radiographs are taken to examine lengths. Length tumors can be detected using bronchography. The whole gastrointestinal tracts can be imaged. The urinary tract is examined. Discovery of cavities and impacted wisdom teeth. The detection of breast cancer in women show detailed images of bone structure. Thank you.